Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. Today I'm in America. To be honest, I'm in Washington State with Dry Fly Straight Bourbon 101 three-year-old aged whiskey. Interesting. 50.5% alcohol by volume. Whiskey base number 30566. And this cost me, amazingly, 62 euros and 90 cents. I have no idea what the price is in the States, but that would be about $80. Is a 101 bourbon worth $80? No. (laughs) Why did I buy it instead? Still, uh, well, I've done three. um, This is my third video about dry fly um, whiskey. And I thought, well, look, there's a new design. Cool. I'll try the bottle. Maybe it's better. Now, this is 55% corn and 45% um, tritikel, T-R-I-T-I-C-A-L-E, tritrickle. And founder Don um, Puffinrot was on vacation up in the beautiful area of Washington State. You can actually see Washington State on the bottle. Um, So that's kind of cool, I must admit. And he was doing this also on the bottle. Fly fishing. Now, fly fishing is something we do over here in Germany, but we actually stand, or in Europe, we actually stand in the... um, in the lake or the river, um, the river usually, and you have the fly fishing, and you have that. What they have here is actually have their own little tiny little um, bait here, which is good. You do your own fly fish, your own fly. You you can wrap it, you can design it, and I actually have friends that still do that over here. Or go up to Norway, which is beautiful, beautiful place to go fly fishing. Now, um, when you go to the website by um, dryflydistilling, I think, .com, you can actually see a picture of Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Wu, I'm sorry, Don um, Puffin, uh, Puffinrot. You can see um, someone who's responsible for the on-sale sites. In the bar, you can see a sales executive. You can see someone else. But what you do not see is a picture of the distiller. And that worried me. So if anyone from Dry Fly watches this video, I would love to have a picture of this stiller on the, actually on, (laughs) at least if it's the founder, great, founder slash distiller. It's always nice to see a picture of the person making that. Now you do have a picture of the the pot stills. It's a combined pot still. looks like something from Germany, either from Cote or from um, Holstein where you had the combined column still and the pot still together, and they've been making whiskey now for some years. Now, I'm going to try to compare this to something which is, of course, when I hear Bourbon 101, um, I think of wild turkey. I'm so sorry. That's what I think of the best. Now, over here in Germany, I can literally get almost three bottles of this for that. Now, this is the one liter bottle, but if I go down to the 0.5, 0.7 liter bottles over here, I can get three of these for one of these. <laughs> is this triple the taste experience than this? Probably not. Um, especially with the tree trackle um, in there, I'm sure it's not. All right, so um, these guys have been around for quite a while. I mean, 20 some years almost, I think 15 years to be honest. And I have a little bit of a theory. Now, if you make bourbon, um, you can actually see it coming off the steel, you can taste it, but it's not bourbon. That's new make. And you have to wait the two to three years for that new make to develop into something that's bourbon. And if there's a little bit of something you want to change, you need another three years to change that, adjust something, and to get it just right. Now what they're doing is, um, this is a three-year-old, and if you take a look at their website, all the bottles on the the page are the three-year-old. You click on the 101 bourbon, and and immediately you have the four-year-old. And so what they're doing is now they're increasing the age of their stock, which is fantastic because this, I think, needs a little bit of an age. This is straight, which means it's four years minimum. After four years, you don't have to put an age statement on there. So there's somewhere between four and six-year-old whiskeys in here, probably, maybe five and six-year-old whiskeys. And that's great. That's wonderful. Over here, you have a three-year-old. I don't have the four-year-old. I'm so sorry. And now it took them maybe three years to do the first batch and go oh and the second second time three years now the third time that's nine years of product development before you finally have something go oh yeah that's it and then you need to actually let it 
um, go for another six years after that. So that's 15 years of your life before you develop a product where you go, yeah, yeah, we've got it. Finally, this is what we want. And that's a very, very long time. And that's why we have to be very, very patient and very, very um, understanding with these new distillers. Um, why they used um, um, tree, tree tickle? Um, probably because it's something that's unique and something maybe also um, not native, but of um, common in the Washington State area. Are right, the nose? This is much better than expected. Um, very sweet, a little bit of pecan nut in there, um, a little bit of caramel. I'm not getting tobacco leaves, but I'm getting a fairly nice bourbon. Over here? Oh, better. Oh, I always get by Wild Turkey a tiny little bit of a sawdust moment. It's not bad. It's actually very, very nice, but it's a dryness in there. It's like a walnut um, shell dryness in there, which I like. I really like. All right, let's try it. 101 versus 101 proof. Hmm. Oh, this is a little bit hot. Um, yeah. And also the sweetness towards the end kicks in a little bit. A little bit of a tart moment. And then sweetness remains. Um, I have a um, brother-in-law. He actually has a biogas plant. And they use um, a certain percentage of um, tree um, tickle because it has a very, very high amount of sugar in it, and sugars and starches. And it's a wonderful thing to ferment, and it's a wonderful thing to get the methane off it, and he really enjoys using that. So you get a lot of yield per acre from that tree treacle. Mm. Not great over here. I'm going to give it like a C... Wild Turkey 101. Now this you can use as a mixer. You can drink it straight. You can actually pour it in the Coke. You can do whatever you want to with it. And it doesn't matter because it's such a great value for money. Hmm. Tiny little bit of alcohol at the end. And a tiny little bit of that wood tannin tartness at the end but much smoother much complexer much more grown up okay value for money i'm going to give this actually a c to c minus as a tasting object and um, value for money i'm going to give it a f <laughs> No way in the world would you pay $80 for this, which I did. Um, what I didn't do in my German video, which I'd like to do now, is I'm going to dilute it down to about 20-some percent, see if anything different happens to it. Okay. Sweet corn syrup. Mm -hmm. I always like to dilute, especially my scotches, um, down to about 20-25% to see what's actually hiding in there. And here there's nothing hiding. That's everything okay. It's a very, it's not a very complex whiskey, to be honest, in my personal opinion. All right, um, if you can find it for double the price of this, is it worth trying? Try before you buy. <laughs> If you have to pay tw three times the amount that I did for this because of 25% import taxes and all that, because of Europe and the, the, the trade war with um, America, and they did the 25% of scotch after we did the 25% of bourbons, and that is a bourbon, then you have to pay more. Um, we're living in a very crazy world, let's say that. All right, thank you very much. Whiskey Jason here, please like, please subscribe, please tell others, share the video on any social media platform you'd like, that'd be great. Um, hashtag Whiskey Jason, one word. 
And you can always contact me at whiskeyjason at um, gmail.com. Uh, Don Puffinroth, um, the founder of, um, Fly, um, of Dry Fly. Don't forget, put a picture of the distiller on your website. You have, you have the people. Um, that would actually help me and a few others as well to be very to sleep a little bit um, better at night to know um, at least the face of the person making this. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.